Now you mentioned Stan Drake. Wasn't he the one in the car with Alex Raymond in that accident, in the, in the crash? That's right. Oh, he told me that whole story over lunch that day. It raised the hair on my back of my neck. Yeah. That, he, yeah, that, it must be torture. He relived that day over and over and over for years, probably last to his last days. Um, and he told it in such a uh, colorful, not colorful, but tragic way about, yeah. uh, you know, I think he felt the guilt of losing uh, Alex Raymond uh, being part of it, so to speak. But Alex Raymond was the one driving. Right. You know, so there, there was like a PTSD from this experience. It was Stan Drake's car. It was Stan Drake's car. And uh, did, did he indicate that he thought Alex Raymond may have done that on purpose? No, I heard stories all the way through. And maybe that's why he told me straight out. He didn't give me variations. It was started to rain. And they were going on this curve. And he knew that uh, Alex was going a little bit too fast, but he didn't say anything. And when he made the turn, they just went off the road. Yeah. But there happened to be a tree there. And when they hit the tree, uh, I believe he lost uh, one of these years at least, maybe both, were ripped off Stan Drake's head. Oh, wow. The windshield, whatever. But um, Alex Raymond was impaled on the aluminum, uh, it was a cor Corvette, one of the first Corvettes. It was a big, thick aluminum, uh, aluminum chrome around the window he was impaled so when they found he was dead in his he mouth was, I, he, mouth and neck or whatever but he wow was dead. crazy i, yeah, I never me, heard that part of it that's amazing uh, that's a that's a that's a ghastly part maybe you can cut that out i don't know <laughs> maybe leave it in i don't know i think leave it in that's a good detail 